the second day of the fourth week, just as painful as the first, the second, and the third. I have only the jail guard and the rats to keep me company. They keep to themselves anyway. And my own thoughts, which give me at least some comfort and relief in the long hours of which I can only sit on my mat and dream of what it must feel like to, to be free. But for all I know, I'll be here for as long as the rats of this cell are alive and the children who play and laugh are out there, free, free, free. It seems like only yesterday I met the poor wretch of a kid whose cell is the only cell I guard. And it's only he who keeps me company in the long hours of sitting waiting for him to make a desperate move. Yet he mostly keeps to himself, always writing in his journal with his rusty old pen. I've wondered, what would happen if I took the pen from him while he was sleeping? How insane he would become then. He would have nothing to write with. He would dissolve from the fact that his thoughts would only ever be in his mind and that they would never be able to be written down. But I wouldn't do that to him. After all, he's gonna be in prison for as long as the rats of his cell are alive and the people outside are free. Another day inside this cold, dark, and damp cell of mine. Will it be any more or less lonely than the previous? Not as long as I have my journal and pen to keep my mind running. I can't even imagine what life in this cell would be like if I didn't have anything to write with. Writing is the only thing that can keep me from going mad. Ever since that accident I had with my best friend, I've been nothing but mad. I've calmed down, though. Hopefully they'll let me out of this place early. Besides, I'm only 13. I should at least have some kind of a childhood before I become an adult. But for now, I'll just have to be the good little boy that Mom and Dad always wanted me to be that I never was. Before they let me go, and I became the kind of person that got me into this place. But that kind of person is not going to get me out. I'll change. I don't know how a kid of his age could ever survive being in jail for so long. Would this kid even have a childhood? If he did, it's probably not the kind he would enjoy talking about. I wonder how he got here in the first place. I wouldn't suspect him of committing any crime. And again, he's just a kid. Nobody would suspect him of committing a crime. I know, when I was a kid, the only thing I ever did was go to school on the weekdays and play outside on the weekends and over the summer. He's probably just some disturbed orphan boy whose parents never cared about him. Kids with parents like that never really do the right thing. I had a dream last night that I was freed from prison, that I got to see my parents again, and my old friends. I don't know if that will ever actually happen. I'm sure it won't. I can only hope that the closest I'll come to total happiness is being let out of here in the first place. And who knows when that will happen. It could be tomorrow. It could be in 25 years. At least I have my journal and my pen to keep me busy, and the jail guard and the rats to keep me company. For all I know, as long as they're alive and the people outside are free, I'll be in here in my cell, waiting, waiting for freedom, freedom, freedom. <laughs>